In this lesson, let's add the functionality for making a user an administrator. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the index.blade.php for users right here. And then instead of having a button right here, we're going to have a form. And the action is going to be a route we're going to create. So route users.make admin. That's going to be the route name. And then the method is going to be post. So we won't forget our CSRF token at CSRF. And I'm just going to place that button right there. The type is going to be submit. Awesome. So now we need to register this route. And probably this route should actually take an argument, right? Which is the user whose account we're trying to make admin. So I'm just going to pass in user ID right here. Then I'll go to my web.php. Then I'm going to register a post route. This is going to be users slash user slash make admin. And this is going to go to the users controller at make admin. And the name, most importantly, is going to be users dot make admin. Like that. So let's create the make admin middleware or the make admin function sorry so let's go to the users controller and then public function make admin and we're just going to use route model binding right here to find the user so we're going to say user and then we'll get the user and then we're going to say user row is equal to admin or we can you know use update but we can just say user save right here okay and then we can return redirect back to the route called users dot index you probably want to flash a message a success message session flash success and this is going to say user made admin successfully awesome so if you come right now to application refresh click on users click on make admin yeah of course we have an error so it says Argument to pass to redirect response must be an F type integer and a string was given. Hmm. So let's check out redirect. Yeah, that's the problem. I think I'm actually sick, guys. So I'm not supposed to be using back and route. So we probably want to say redirect and then route in it. Okay. So let's go ahead and refresh this. We probably don't want to refresh it again, but that's fine. And now you can see user successfully made admin. And now Emil Myers doesn't have any buttons beside. And if I come right now, since I'm logged in as Emil Myers, refresh, you can see Emil Myers now has admin rights. That's great. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to implement Gravatar to be able to display the avatar of the user right here. So what we're going to do is use a little package. And I'm just going to search for Lavo Gravatar right here. And you can see the Lavo 5 Gravata package right there, which is going to help us very simply implement Gravata. So all we want to do is copy this, which is the name of the package, include it in a composer.json file. So I'm just going to come to my code editor, visit the composer.json file, which is at the root of the project right here, and then include this. Okay. And then run composer update. Now, once the package is done installing, you can see that the package has been auto discovered and registered by Lava, Lavo right here. So Lavo automatically registered that package for us. Next step, what you want to do is follow the instructions to register the alias. Let me show you. I'm just going to copy this line of code right here. Then I'm going to go to the app.php, which is like the config file for Lavo. And if you scroll right down at the bottom, there's an array called aliases. So we want to add our own alias. So this is going to be Gravata, then this class. And what this helps us do is that we can come to our index.blade.php. And then I'm just going to print out Gravata source and we'll pass in user email like that. And if you come back to our app, refresh, 
you can see the generated URL for our Gravatar. So what we want to do is we want to use an image and paste Gravatar source right there. So if I refresh, great, you can see the Gravatar for the user. So now that I have my Gravatar, you can see my avatar, but Emily Myers does not have a Gravatar, so that's a temporal Gravatar right there. So what we want to do is want to make sure that the width is 40 pixels, really small, the height is 40 pixels, and we'll just add a star that says border radius of 50%. Refresh, awesome. So that's our avatar, perfect. So we can display the avatar, we can change users from writers to administrators. We have Gravatar working perfectly. And it looks like we are completely done with our admin panel. The only thing left is for the user's profile to be able to be edited. Okay, so let's work on that in the very next lesson.